This video is part of a step-by-step -step series that shows you how to create an online presentation using Microsoft Sway. All staff and students at Griffith have access to Sway. To find it, just go to office.com and sign in to your Griffith Microsoft account. Once you've done that, you'll see a list of icons for the Microsoft apps. Find the little green square with the S and click on it to go to Sway. Note that you have a few different options here. You can start from scratch with a blank Sway or start from a document and then there are these templates. We're going to use one of these so click on more templates to see them all. I'm going to select this blog template to build my Sway. When you click on it you'll see that the Sway loads on a big picture that takes up most of the screen. This picture banner is called a hero image. To see the content of the Sway just scroll down. You can see that we have text and images side by side. We have images arranged in a gallery here and an embedded Twitter feed. Let's click on Start Editing This Sway and take a look at how it's put together. In Edit Mode, you can see that the Sway is made up of separate blocks. These are called cards. We have a text card here and this is an image card. When you want to add content to your Sway, you use a card and there are different types of card for different types of content. You've probably already guessed that to add a card, I click on this green circle with the plus sign in it. And you can position this where you want by clicking between two cards. When you click the green plus, the different types of cards that you can add to your Sway pop up in this green box. Notice the different categories at the top. The most common cards are listed under this first one, Suggested. If I change the category to text, you can see that I have two options, a heading one or a text card. Moving across to the media category, I have image, video, audio, embed and upload. We're going to go over these types of card in more detail, but one thing that is good to know up front is if you want to insert a YouTube video into your Sway, you're going to use the embed card, not the video card. Finally, we have this group category, which contains the cards that are mildly interactive. Let's do a little bit of editing with these cards and let's start with the title at the top. To change the tomato image, click into details. You can see we have two cards that make up the title, a text card for the words of the title and an image card for the hero image. Let's give our Sway a proper name and then click on the image card. Notice that when I click on a card, it activates the options for editing that card. To change the hero image, click Details and use the rubbish bin icon to get rid of the tomato image. Once you've done this, click Add Background. And now you can drag any image that you have saved on your computer into this green box and that will become your hero image. I'm sure you noticed this side panel that popped up. You can use this to search for an image online. By keeping the Creative Commons only box ticked, you can be sure that you're only finding images you can use without breaching copyright, which is important. I've decided I like this banana image, so I'm going to add it to my Sway by clicking to select and then clicking the green Add button. Notice that Sway automatically creates a card for that image, but it's in the wrong place so I'm just going to grab the whole card and drag it to where I want it. Then I'm going to increase the size of the image by choosing the second of these three squares. Let's go ahead now and see what our Sway will look like in presentation mode. To do this I need to click on play in the top right corner. So we've made a good start. We have a Sway with a title and a hero image. In the next video, we'll look at finding and adding different types of content to our Sway.